Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, and today I'm not back with another tutorial, but I am here to go through my brand new Castle Modular Kitbash pack that I created from the course I've just released. So if you're a subscriber and have no interest in this, then I thank you for your support and dropping by, and I'll see you on the next one. For everyone else, let's get started and dive straight in. First up, we'll head on over to Blender. So within the pack, you will get two Blender files. The first one is this, which is the parts pack, and you can see that you get all these packs, which you can actually create things in Blender pretty easily. There's 65 parts in here, and as you can see over the right hand side, all of these collections are all named correctly, and within them, they're all actually named correctly as well. So you'll never be lost where you need to find whatever part you're looking for. And the other thing is, if you click on a part, you'll also see that all of the materials are also named correctly. Within here, if we come over and we go to external data, everything is also packed within this Blender file. So when you open it up, it should appear exactly like this. Also, if you're coming over and we click on our um, renderer, you will see that we also have a HDRI um, built within this actual pack. So you can see what realistic lighting actually looks like on your castle design. Now that's that part of the pack. Now let's head on over to the castle build. So here we are in the castle build. And as you can see, this is actually from the course and this is the castle that I built. Now you might want to take from some ideas from there and things like that. Um, you can also see that you've got a water shader in here. One thing I've not put in is any cameras or anything like that because I think that you probably just want to get an idea of how actually I built this and take ideas and build on them. Basically you might want to make a whole town or something like that. And again, everything is named correctly. All the materials are named. So it should be very, very easy to just open this up and use it as a reference. Now let's head on over to Unreal Engine. But before we do that, I've just pulled up this as the file and these are the four files you're going to get. So you can see you've got one with the 125 texture maps. You've got one with the FBX and the OBJ and they're for all the parts. So they're very easy to bring it into Maya or something like that. And then you've got the model builds, which is the parts build and the actual castle build, which we've just been over. Finally, you'll also get a UE4 complete modular pack. And now if we head on over to that, I'll show you exactly what's in there. So here is the Unreal Engine part of the uh, pack. And if you come on over, you'll end up with a black screen when you first come up. Um, basically go to first person, go to maps, and just basically open the castle modular pack. Let's go back to content then and take a look at this. So these are all of the pots that are in there. We just press F and just zoom in a little bit. You can see that I have put some basic lighting in here, but this is mainly so that you can actually take these pots and bring them in to your own um, Unreal Engine project or something like that. Now, as you can see over the right hand side, we've got all the parts, they're all named correctly. If I close that up then and hide those um, out of the way, you can see they all disappear. And you can also see that if we come over to our castle um, modular pack meshes, you can see that all the basic meshes are in here. So you can mess around these. Um, the other thing is, I forgot to say, I'll actually just put that back on just to show you. If I come on over to our actual um, light map densities, you can see, click on the floor, that all of the light maps, so all of these have separate um, UV maps basically for the light maps, and you can see they're all green, so they should all light up correctly. Now, the other thing is, if we come back now and we go to our materials, you can see that all the materials are laid out, all named correctly. If we come to our bricks, for instance, I've actually put in the textures that you actually need, just in case you want to move them into another project or something like that. You can also see that on some of these, I think I've actually done it on this one, so I'll just bring this over. Let's have a look. On this one, for instance, I've actually put in a roughness intensity, so you can actually see how that works to change the roughness to make the bricks more shiny or slimy or something like that. So that's already inbuilt as well. Now that's only on a few of the uh, materials, but you can actually bring that across if you need to. I just got them looking right within this actual pack. Now if we go back to content, finally you can come over to the Castle Modular Pack Blueprints, and if I double click on there, you can see now you've got all of your blueprints that you might use. And for instance now, if I come in and I close up the arena, and then just bring in a part, you can see as well that all the parts have the actual origins set to the bottom. So it doesn't matter what part I bring in, you can see they all go against the floor like so. And you can see how easy it is just to bring these parts in and drop them in place like so. So that is the Unreal part of the pack, and I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of this. And I really hope that this demonstration actually convinces you that this pack is really, really great value. Okay, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that 
check out my links down below and also if you want to support the channel then check out the Patreon links also down below where you'll get some amazing offers if you head on over to Patreon. Okay everyone, so I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, bye bye.